Mr. Heron. These men have endured year, years of inhumane treatment and torture. This, serious, this treatment has had serious long-term effects and will ultimately infect every aspect of this Military Commission Tribunal. We continue to admire the strength and courage of those who have lost so much, and we keep them. The exclusion of evidence obtained by torture is only the beginning step in accountability. This may proceeding may turn out to be the only public examination of the torture years, and we are committed to a full airing of the use of torture. Along with Lieutenant Colonel Sterling Thomas, the United States Air Force. The arraignment yesterday demonstrates that this will be a long, hard-fought, but peaceful struggle against secrecy, torture, and the misguided institution of the military commissions. The exclusion of evidence obtained by torture is only the beginning step in Good morning, all. Standing to my left is Captain Michael Schwartz. What I can tell you, though, is that I have uh, viewed scars on his arms um, and that um, we have reason to believe that he has been subjected to mistreatment uh, while in the camps. And we're hoping to address that with the court and hoping to get a fair hearing on that. And I dressed that way when I knew it was 